All right, guys, I have a 91 IROC here, and we're putting Oracle LED headlights on, high beams and low beams. And this is the wiring you're supposed to do on this, and it's very hard to find out how to wire these things, and it took us a while to figure this out. Let me, my friend here is going to tell you how to wire these and how the, the stock wires are wired coming for the, you know, the actual stock headlights. Okay, so how this works is basically you have a high beam and low beam. So you're gonna need an adapter first that has a two that goes from the high beam to a three prong because the factory high beam has two prongs on it and you need to you're gonna need three. Okay? So that's the first thing you need to do. But where do you get this from? This was actually I don't this is actually ordered from eBay, believe it or not. Okay. Alright. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is the per the yellow and green wire, you're gonna wanna cut that wire. You don't need it to be used at all. So all you need is the hot side, which is green for high beam, and the ground side. So blue on the on the Oracle headlight the, is the ground. Green on this side he's talking yeah. about. Green is gonna be green your power, power. From, from the high beam switch. Right here. Yeah. And this is the ground. Okay. Okay. The Oracle headlight, the blue wire is the ground, and the and the, the uh, red wire is the hot for your uh, for your headlight. Now, what you want to do is you're going to connect that, and this whole light will go on completely. All the LEDs when you turn the headlight on will go on completely. Now, what you'll need to do is with the Oracle low beam for the low beam bulb. If you and this is the high beam. This is a high. Well, you can use it for high or low, but the problem is that. There are two configurations. Depending on what way you put power and ground on, you can either have two two rows of lights or one row of light for a high and a low beam. If you try using the double row of headlights, LEDs, for a low beam, what happens is the high beams get stuck on. So what you'll need to do is, you'll need to take the connector, you'll need to use a little pin. A pick. Or a pick. Yeah. Release the tab and swap around so we'll use it real quick. You release the tip, squeeze, push it on the tab. There's a hole in there. You insert it in the hole. And then now the, sla the terminal will slide out. Yeah. All right. So you put it in this configuration that we we have it here. Correct. Correct. So now we'll just stretch the tab back out because we're gonna slide it back in. And the two wires you're gonna flip is gonna be the red wire and the yellow and green. You flip them around so th so that the yellow and green is no longer in the center position. You flip it around, and now you can put it right into the regular headlight, into the headlight uh, socket, and you'll have a high, that's, that's a high to low beam that works correctly. That's what that looks like. Correct. All right, let's just give them a test so they can see how it works. I don't know if it's going to capture on camera, but I mean, if it doesn't capture it, this will happen. Yeah, this is going to be extremely the bright. Low beams are the outside one row with one, in, one uh, dot. I think it's one row on the bottom with one dot in the middle. That's well, you can turn beam. the headlight up or down, but probably right, well, for visibility, you yeah, you you can make that decision when yeah. you set it up. And high beam is everything here and everything here yeah. turns on. Okay. So let me see. If this I is going to be extremely bright. Yeah, let me ahead. see if we could do that. All right, guys, you're going to be blinded to death because these things are super bright. Okay, so we have. Hold on. All right. Well, you can kind of see it, but it's really bright. Okay. All right. Let me back off. Go ahead. Turn on the high beam. High beam is everything. So high beam is all LEDs lit at once. Guys, these are insanely bright. Anyways, back, perfect, excellent. Oracle headlights, we don't make a dollar off of them, but these things are insanely bright. <laughs> and you can't find it, as of this moment, you can't find these instructions anywhere, yeah. on YouTube or anywhere else. Yeah, so. absolutely. This took us a little time to figure out how to get it to work. And now um, you can do it quick. When you plug them in directly into the factory sockets, they won't work, they won't light up correctly. The, the high beam light switch inside won't work co correctly, but if you do it the way we said, everything works perfect. All right, and that's about it. So, thanks for watching. Well, if you want to show them this side already in. But this is already in. Again, we can't even turn the lights on. It's so bright, it's just going to blind the hell out of everybody. And to take these caps off, all you got to do is two screws here and two screws in the bottom. You could take these off completely. The bottom, you unscrew them, but not all the way completely out. So you could uh, maneuver the case out, it'll just pop right out, and that's how you do that. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, you know you want to. And check out NewYorkThirdGen.com if you like IROX or Firebirds Transams, 82 to 92. Thanks for watching, take care.